Hi friends, welcome back to Last Without a Plan. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are looking at my August haul featuring Hank and Plan, Nicole Alexia, and Christian Designs. So let's get into it. First, we're going to be opening up this haul from Nicole Alexia Designs. We have our freebie here with some functional scripts and a little charger AirPods reminder deco, as well as a trash can and a little heart. And then we have a couple of kits here. I believe that I purchased these for her ninth anniversary sale. I absolutely adore Nicole Alexia Designs, so I'm excited that she is celebrating her ninth anniversary. This kit right here is called September. Let me zoom you into these boxes here. They have like some outdoor spaces, some little pumpkin setups, a woman, and books, and little boots, as well as a bicycle, and some more pumpkins. Then we have the deco boxes, functional boxes, the little things, and the are these singles? No, they're checklists. As well as the Days of the Week menu pad. And then these are decorative washi strips. Then we have the gorgeous washi. A little close-up of the scene with the pumpkins on at the windowsill. And Days of Week. I like this color here. It's really pretty. And then for our second kit, we have Autumn. And this one has the cutest little puppy. See him? Reminds me of my friend's dog, Fritz. So, so cute. And then there's the outdoor space. Umbrella, books, leaves, this gorgeous house. Um, another, what looks like an indoor-outdoor living space. A cute little owl and a bridge. Very cute. And then we have a little bit more browns and rich terracottas in this kit. Same sheets. And then here's the club close to the washi. We have some doodles of pumpkins and leaves, and then the photographs of leaves, well, illustrations of leaves. And then this kit right here is called October, and it features a mystical place with books and potions, gorgeous window area, an outdoor space, a book with a candle, prettiest kitty ever some lanterns and then some more books I love the colors of this kit so rich then we have the two different shades of blue and some blacks and grays we have more of the decorative washi and then this is the close-up of the potions that she chose to use for the washi strips so that is everything that I got from Nicole Alexia Designs. Next up, we're going to look at our haul from Hand Can Plan. We start with this freebie right here. It has a pile of leaves, have a picnic, a fall freebie with fun things to do, like bake a pie, buy a new candle, watch a cozy movie, drink a latte, a PSL. I don't really like PSLs. Do you guys like PSLs? I don't think I like the, the pumpkin goo in my coffee. That's just me. <laughs> I think it must just be me because people really like it. It's okay. And then I grabbed the A5 monthly kit in September. This was apple picking. Super cute with the, the plaid print and then the open and closed apples. We have some functionals here and the days of the week and some wood grain. And we have the Moxie Life page, which is the weekly reflections and the main days of the week. I figured that I could use this for my monthly headers in my A5. That's kind of my plan for this, but obviously it wouldn't be for the weekly. I I'm going to figure out how to use that stuff though. <laughs> and then I got the journaling kit page A for the same thing. So I could possibly use it as a weekly as well. And then we have these bright, beautiful colors, some stripes, some plaids, and of course the fun banners and swirly arrows. And then I got another kit for the same A5 monthly. So 
sorry, I keep flipping because they are a little out of order. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, this one is the August one. I believe it was called Summer Blooms or something like that, but I don't know if it'll focus. We have some bright, beautiful florals. I think they look a little tropical. We have the bright pink and the mustard yellow, and then we have the days of the week. I did just realize that these have a Sunday start and I like a Monday start, so I'm going to have to probably do some sticker surgery, but I'll figure it out. And then there's a pinks and yellow flowers down here and some more yellow blooms at the bottom. Again with the reflections page. I really like this floral that she chose to use for that one. I just want to put those down. Let's see. And then I grabbed some EC decor sheets for October. I'm actually not sure if it's October or no. No, this one's for October. They were out of order. This is the October deco sheet. I just love the little boo, the witch hat, and this cute little pumpkin. And of course, all of the little bits and bobs that are definitely Halloween-esque. And we have the fall set up with the tealish pumpkin, so more like a light blue, pastel blue with the acorns and the leaves. The little wagon and the cloves. I think that they're cloves. They look like those little cloves that you put in your apple cider. Um, and then the Christmas one for December, the string of lights, the little gifts, the pine cones, and this little truck with Christmas trees in it. So, so cute. Then I also grabbed another sheet of scripts for weekly reflection questions. Oh, this is a bonus decor sheet. Wait, did I get two of them? No, oh, I just put them down wrong. And then this is so cute. It has a little tree, a little apple picking. I think that this is actually part of the apple kit. Sorry, I had them out of order. I should have looked at them first. But I like this little tiered situation over here. And then the pumpkin patch and then the little back truck plus this apple cake that looks really yummy anyways i am thinking of taking by the apple pickings that was a perfect little kit for september and that is all that i have from hand complete next up we have chrissy and designs this is the freebie that i got this month let the sun shine in what does that say phone home Allo there oh it's got a little elephant this is so cute we just found out that fall product for girl scouts can it focus we just found out that fall product for girl scouts has our an elephant as our mascot so so cute there's also a little cow with some popcorn that's fun too um i grabbed a couple of days of the week in this fun font i needed some more days of the week and i like this caps font I also grabbed this caps font. Both of them are just in the neutral blacks. And then I have some pieces here. Let me put them in order. That's weird. Okay, I guess I just got the little boos for washi strips. Um, I'm not sure maybe there's two sheets of this in the celebrations collection because usually I get more than just one but this will work just fine. And then I have the fall washi. Look at how cute this little scarecrow is. And then the Steve with the blowy tree. Some apples, of course, and pumpkins. And this says, hello fall. And then we have the boxes page for the weekly setup. Um, it has the days of the week down here. And it says, don't sweat the fall stuff. And don't even chai. <laughs> I love her puns. They're so funny. Um, and then it has all of the normal doodles. And that is everything I have from Chrissy and Designs. It's here. The final part of my August haul is the order anniversary order from Planner Kate. And I took it out of the box because the box is huge. So let's get into it.
so I took advantage of the sale to pick up a couple of organizational items. I grabbed another sticker album because um, I have this one here that I've used for a while. I think it's from Sadie Stickers or something like that, but I I'm having a lot of trouble organizing it. So I figured I would start fresh with a new one from Planner Kate. I think that these sticker sheets will be really easy to peel off. It's just, this one's just a five by seven and I figure I could organize my text and stuff to make it easier on planning days. Then I also grabbed the eight by 10 album, the disc bound because a lot of the sticker sheets that I have are too big. And I wanted to have just like a one-stop shop. All the sheets have the same disc width. I figured since it has similar disc width as everyone, I was hoping that I could like pop in more than just the planner Kate ones so that I can keep this as my master binder when I'm planning. And yeah, I think that it will work well for what I need and keep me a little more organized. I love how sturdy their covers are. Super, super heavy duty. And then I grabbed just a few stickers. So this is the 10 year sampler. Uses their new font here. Oh, I really love this style of washi on the side. Can you see that? It's really cute. It's the muted color tone. It has a couple of scripts, some lined boxes, some dashed boxes, some banners, a couple of little banners with important dates, days of the week. These will probably work on my Moxie Life daily pages. And a couple of these really cool brush strokes. I don't think I've ever seen them before, but they are also die cut. Some cute little banners that are die cut, some what is that? A mow the lawn? That's a mow the lawn. That must be new. What else is there? There's spa, party, pool day, sale tags, picnic, lashes, and then some baby labels down here. Super cute. I grabbed this week of brush stroke sticker and it too. I was wondering if it was going to be a die cut and it is. Very cool. I like how it has all of the different bright colors. Then I have the planner grab bag, freebie grab bag. So I got some dash labels, some payday flags, a couple of standard scripts, spring forward, fall back, spring begins, summer begins, autumn begins, and winter begins. And then I have a couple of these dot stickers, some work stickers. I love these appointment labels. A handful of doodles. This one says homework. Very cool. Some weather icons and some standard labels. Then this is what I ended up ordering. I had heard from um, Kristen Kremer that these are what she usually orders these days of the week scripts and she buys them on the like the heavy discounted pages. I don't know, like last chance pages. Um, so these are the only things that are usually in color. So if you have things that you would like in these color palettes, you can end up using these little markings. Otherwise they have just all the whole month of days of the week and month stickers. So I thought that that would be helpful in the upcoming months. And then I also grabbed so that these had some purpose. I grabbed the thin washi strips as well. And the green and yellow. These ones are lemony, I think. And then this one must be school themed because it has paper airplanes and apples. But I figured I could use these for a whole bunch of things just like filler and such. So that is everything that I have from Planner Kate. So anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and opening up my haul. 
I hope that you have the best rest of your day. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you can see all of these stickers hard at work in future Plan With Me's. I'm so glad you're here, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.